Hi everyone, I'm sorry I've been missing for a little while. I know I said I was going to get back into a routine, but things have been really crazy with doctor's appointments. But today I wanted to do a tag video, and I found the the 90s kids tag, so I wanted to do that one. And there was originally 18 questions, but I added two of my own because I thought it would be cool. Um, and if you want to do this, I'll leave the questions down below. You seriously want me to pick a favorite TV show? Come on, the 90s the 90s had the best TV shows there was. Um, probably my favorite TV show uh, was Nickelo Nickelodeon. <laughs> probably my favorite TV show was The Rugrats and Hey Arnold. And then if we're talking like PBS, because for a long time my family didn't have satellite or cable. Um, so I watched PBS a lot. And my favorite shows on there were um, The Magic School Bus, and which I loved because you learned a lot from. And Zabulafu, and occasionally Bill Nye the Science Guy, and Dragon Tales. Um, those were my favorite shows. Okay. The Sky Dancers, the things that you pull and it has a little like fairy, Barbie fairy on it and you pull it and she flies. I had probably five or six of those and I still have a few of them. Um, I know I still have my the base that comes with it. I still have the base from my very first doll. I kept it because I just thought it was so cool that after all these years I still have it. And I found it one day and I put it away. So it's probably stripped and doesn't work anymore but I kept it anyway. Um, <laughs> mine would have to be two particular Edie's ice cream commercials that come to mind. Um, and if anybody else remembers these, please let me know down below. They were but basically the same idea, but one was with a baby, um, and the mom's like, come on baby, let me put you in your high chair so you can have some Edie's ice cream. And you don't see, like, the actual people, you just see their shadows, like the silhouettes of the, their shadows. And she says, come on baby, let me put you in your high chair so you can have some Edie's ice cream. And the baby starts dancing. And it, that was just the funniest thing in the world to me at like 9, 10. And then the other one is basically the same idea, except for it's an older man and he's walking with a cane. And his wife says, come on honey, I got us some Edie's ice cream, let's come eat it. And he throws his cane down and he starts dancing and it was just, oh my gosh, it was hilarious. I never was really into either one of them, but if I had to pick, it would definitely be Backstreet Boys. Hmm. The, um, I don't know about weird, but I'm just gonna say the ones I thought were cool, because I don't, I can't think of any of the weird ones right now. Uh, light up shoes, I always wanted a pair of light up shoes, and I never got any. Because I always had to find shoes to go over my, uh, leg braces. So, and you couldn't find, and most of the time they had to be adult shoes, and, you know, what adults kind of want to wear light-up shoes. Um, I would. <laughs> and the, um, what do you call them? Um, the snap wrist bracelets, you know what I'm talking about? Um, I had several of those. Until they started, the, the fabric started peeling off of them, and then they poke you in the arm, and then it wasn't so fun anymore. <laughs> I never did actually own any Beanie Babies, um, but I remember my assistant principal, I don't know what made her do this one day, but it was around actually this time of year, I think, because for some reason I remember wearing a jacket when she gave it to me. Oh yeah, I know why. I'll explain in a minute. And um, she, I was waiting on my aide in the front office, and school had not started yet. It was about, you know, and I was waiting on my aide. And she said, would you like a stuffed animal to hold? And I love stuffed animals. And so she brought me the Thai Beanie Baby. And so I don't remember which one it was. And um, I give it back to her when my aide comes to pick me up. And she says, you can take care of it for the rest of the day. Just drop it off on my office before you go home. So I did. And the next day she did it again. And I, I now that I think back on this, I'm kind of grateful for it because I think it gave me a sense of 
I'm needed for something, like I was taking care of something that wasn't mine, I had to be really careful with it, you know what I mean? I know that may sound weird to some people, but that's the way it felt to me, and then like, the next day or so, she gave me another one, and, and well not give it to me, but had me take care of another one, and this one was a little black poodle named Gigi, and cause she said, let's look at this one's name, and it was Gigi, and I remember that day, I got picked up early from school, no, no, I remember that day that, um, um, I had forgotten to give it to her, and I felt so bad because she, you know, she gave me this responsibility of taking care of something that was hers, something that she loved. And I remember feeling so bad that I didn't get to her and I had to call her right away and apologize for not giving it to her. And she said it was fine just to bring it back to school. And she actually told my mom, she wanted to talk to my mom, and she actually told my mom that she, when she was walking around the school, she seen me holding it in my lap and stuff like that. And I treated it like it was a baby. I was probably like nine. And I treated it like it was a baby. Like, I had my jacket wrapped around me and it was cold that day. And I actually wrapped the stuffed animal up in my jacket like it was a little baby. Like you would do with a baby at all. And I don't know, I just, I guess I took so much pride in it. Like that I got to take care of something and have responsibility for something that wasn't mine. And I knew I had to do a good job at it, kind of like to impress her. So, even though I never really had Beanie Babies, the Gigi uh, Poodle Dog was my favorite. Because of her loaning it to me. I never had the actual Tamagotchi, but I had the g g Someone can't talk tonight. I never had <laughs> uh, the Tamagotchi, but I had the Giga Pet and a couple of Nano Pets. And I had, let's see, I had the, um, and see, when I was growing up, money was really tight. So, I had, you know, it wasn't like, you know, you could go out and get one. And everyone in my class had one before I actually got one. And my first one was a little puppy dog. I saved up my birthday money and I got one for myself and my first one was a puppy dog. And I was so proud of that thing. And um, it was a puppy and then I got a puppy and then I got a, later on of course, I got a wristwatch type one and it was a dinosaur and you get to raise it from a baby egg. And then I got, um, oh, one of the eight and ones, the octopets, where you can, it was like an alien, a baby, a puppy, a kitty, a octopus, all those kind of different things. It was like eight and one. And then for my um, eighth birthday, I got two nano pets, which it was like a bigger version of the Giga Pet. And um, it, well, I had a little girl and a puppy, I think it was. And I, even though they don't work anymore, I still have them all put away in my bottom dresser. I won't get rid of them because I just, it's kind of like sentimental, I guess. Did you know that they still make them, but they make them more like tech now? Where you can actually hook it up to your TV? Um, I kind of thought that was cool because I looked on Amazon to see if I could find any of the original. And they have a ton of them on eBay. And I would love to get my hands on one of them. Um... Definitely Super Nintendo, yes, and Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, and the fighting games like Street Fighter, those were my favorite. I didn't have one until way later when the other game systems come out. My cousin had one and I basically lived over there for a while, um, for family reasons. I basically lived over there with my mom for a while and I played it all the time and I loved it. Oh yeah, and, uh, what do you call it? Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. I love Duck Hunt because I like shooting at the TV. <laughs> I have a few. Um, one is Smart House. Who remembers that movie? That was awesome. I wanted a house like that. Um, Smart House. Um. Oh, Halloween Town. And there was one with this this young girl from Africa comes to America and she lives with an African American family and they both have misconceptions like they think because she comes from Africa she's going to be African American and she thinks that because they come from America they're going to be you know a white person and obviously you know it was complete difference you know the American family was African American and vice versa and 
they didn't know what to think. I think it was called The Color of Friendship or The True Color of Friendship or something like that. And I love that movie. Oh, and The Luck of the Irish. I love that one. I wasn't really too into the, you know, the music of the 90s. Um, I was more of a fan of country because it's, it's what I've always grown up with and, um, and don't have at me. Okay, go ahead, my My favorite <laughs> song was probably Achy Breaking Heart or or the song by Brooks and Dunn, Boot Scoot and Boogie. I remember there's a home video of me. I was like three and I just learned to walk on my walker and I was going around walking on my walker through the house and I was singing that song and it's just, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm not ashamed to admit that I watched Nick Jr. when I was like 12. <laughs> yes, I did. But um, my favorite Nick Jr. shows were um, Little Bill, Franklin, and Little Bear because he was just adorable. And, or no, wait, maybe I wasn't 12. Maybe I was more like 10. So that's a little better, right? Just a little. Favorite candy of the 90s? Shoot. Oh, um. Push pops. You know the little things you stick your finger in and you push it up? And it was like a sucker on this, on, like the, in this little tube? That was my favorite. Um, partly because it's the only one I could think of at the moment, but I really did like those. Um. I never really did have too many board games, because. I'm the baby of the family and everybody's way older than me so I didn't have anybody to play them with. So I never really did have any board games. My favorite school game was definitely dodgeball. And um, and the reason that is is because the coaches, when I was really little, like five and, well we didn't have, we didn't do dodgeball in kindergarten, but like six and seven and eight, you know, before I got too tall. Um, the coach was really, really tall. He was like six something. And it's, that's especially really tall when you're like seven. And the other coach, um, they would both like lift me up on their shoulder and walk me around when they were playing dodgeball so that I could be a part. And I loved them to death for it. And I loved them to death for making me a part of being able to play dodgeball. Um, and I remember heads up, seven up. I don't remember how to play it. I really don't. But I remember heads up, seven up. And I love that one. I never really did go to McDonald's growing up. We went to Burger King a lot. Um, well, not a lot, but if I had an appointment, that's usually where we'd go. We never really went to McDonald's. We usually went to Burger King. If I had an appointment or something, we had to stop to get something to eat. Um, and I remember when Toy Story first came out, I wanted the Buzz and Woody, you know, the talking Buzz and Woody. And they were advertising on TV, you know, you get Buzz and Woody in your, you know, kids' meal or whatever it was called. And I got so excited because I thought it was the actual Buzz and Woody, not just a little figurines, you know. And I got so excited, yeah, I'm going to get a Buzz and Woody. I was so excited. And then when I got the kids' meal and it was a little figurine, I was really, really mad. <laughs> Two. One when I was, well, three. Two when I was really, really little was um, Bread and Jam <laughs> and The Pokey Little Puppy, which was like a counting book. Um, and I can't even describe it, but it was like it rhymed and it was, like, you know, a book to do with counting. And then uh, Sam the Firefly. I love those. I didn't have a favorite clothing store. I didn't even know clothing stores, you know, existed outside of Walmart, to be honest. And I know that sounds crazy, but like I said, money was tight. So, you know, money had to go, or, you know, to other things. So there wasn't like you get to go to a special clothes store just to shop. You know, we shopped at Walmart. And I have nothing against that now. You know, 90% of my clothes come from Walmart. But I just, we never went to any clothes stores to pick out my clothes. Definitely Rugrats and um, Rugrats and Hey Arnold 
and out of the box. Don't judge me. <laughs> that was an awesome show. I would watch Playhouse Disney as much as I would watch regular Disney. I'd watch Mary in the Big Blue House, uh, PB and J Otter. Um, you know, you name it, I watched it. And I was probably eight or nine, so a little old for this kind of show, but it was so awesome. I mean, seriously. Okay, now here is the two questions I added. Like I said, there was originally 18, but I wanted to add these two questions because I think they should have been in there. I had to put this one in there because when they're talking about favorite shows, you just can't talk about favorite shows and not mention your favorite Saturday morning cartoons. That's what made Saturday worth getting up for, right? Um, <laughs> so my favorite shows was when you would turn on the TV on ABC and there would be one Saturday morning and it would be like five hours of nothing but cartoons. And it was actually called one Saturday morning and it would there would be like a ton of different shows and basically all those shows were my favorite but I loved um, The Weekenders, Recess, Pepper Ann. I just played the Pepper Ann theme song and I knew it every word. The Weekenders, Pepper Ann, um, what did I say? The Weekenders! Pepper Ann, Recess, Lloyd in Space, and Brace Face. That came on ABC Family. I love those shows. Um, but like I said, this is the one I added. My favorite, one of my favorite game shows from the 90s was um, The Double Dare 2000. And also... <laughs> I loved Supermarket Sweep and Shop Till You Drop. I'm a game show fanatic even now. And, um, Supermarket Sweep, Shop Till You Drop, Double Dare 2000, and, um, oh, The Pyramid, $100,000 Pyramid or something with Dick Clark. Yes, I know that's more like 80s, but I still watch it in the 90s. So, yeah, I was obsessed with game shows when I was a kid, and I like them a lot now. My favorite is Family Feud with Steve Harvey, because he's hilarious. So, but, okay, that's the last question. I will, like I said, I will leave the questions down below if you'd like to answer them. And I tag my friend Brittany, and if she can do it, my friend, her YouTube name is David's Cupcakes. I tag her too. And I will link their channels down below um, so you can see them if they decide to do the videos. Brittany, please do it. You need to film. I miss your videos. <laughs> and I'll try my hardest to get back to a regular routine, but doctor's appointments are just back to back to back to back lately, and I've been so tired. And so I'll try my best to at least upload once a week, and then when the doctor's appointments slow down, twice a week but I can't make any promises so please pray for me um and I'll talk to you guys later bye